Good morning everyone, how's it going? We are in Deer River, Minnesota, Senex. We're on our way down to Brainerd. I got this load of tarp lumber behind me again. I don't want it anymore. I'm gonna go bring it to them in Brainerd, they can have it. And I don't have any plans after that yet. I don't know what, what's going on, but I'm sure we'll find out very soon. I'll let you know when I know. For now, we need to get to Brainerd. Windshield this morning before I left. Shoot. Uh, I guess we'll do that when we unload. If you're 
wondering why it's so windy all the time. Someone keeps leaving those big giant fans on all the time. Well, that's it for tonight. It was a full, full day. I had three trailers today. I've got a different one behind me right now. Look at this. It's a triaxle step. I'm gonna be loading it tomorrow with lumber and uh, heading back home for a bit. And then delivering that in a few days down in Brainerd. I'm just gonna be going around a little bit. Uh, they're not open for a couple of days for delivery. So we'll go pick it up now, go home, and then deliver it when they're back. And then from there I go down to Iowa. I believe it's a town name called again. I forget where. But we're picking up a load of tires in Iowa and bringing them, I think, back up to Saskatchewan. It'll be a full week. Still got all these bugs with me. They're uh, along for the ride. It's pretty gross, but as soon as we pick up that load tomorrow, I can get back to the shop and we can wash that all off. It is stinks like fish. You ever notice that? Bugs when they're splattered all over the front of your truck, you walk past, it smells like fish. I stopped here about an hour east of Winnipeg in Prada, Manitoba. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here, so I don't want to stay out here for too long. But this is where we ended up staying. As I'm walking backwards, I can see the mosquitoes chasing me. Man, it's that season. So we want to make sure we get none of those skeeters inside Old Blue. I'm gonna quickly go and run inside. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Close the door. Windows are closed, windows are closed. Okay. Whew. So yeah, running down to Iowa after we deliver uh, in a few days there. Maybe I'll run into Kurt from Trucking with Schmidt. I love watching his videos, they're very calm. I usually add a lot more music to my videos and he he keeps his just straight, you know, the natural noise for the most part, as I've noticed. And this last week I know I've sort of done the same thing too. That, that's not to copy him or anything. That's actually, uh, <clears throat> to be honest with you, trying to save time. I got really behind in my videos. I was eight videos behind. And to catch up I had to do some rapid editing. And uh, I left out the music for that reason. So I hope that it still turned out. I, I kind of like the way it turned out. I don't want to do my videos exactly like Kurt does his because uh, uh, I, I really enjoy watching his. And I, I, I like the fact that we do a similar thing on YouTube here, but we each have our own style. So it's, it's quite different watching, watching each one of our channels. I feel like I'm a little bit more high energy Though I, I don't really notice it until I watch his and it's like just calm, chill and relaxed. I love watching his videos. He's such a good family guy. He's a good dad, a good husband. He's a good role model to have. Kurt's one of those guys that you want to be like. You know, that's going to be one of my sayings. Be like Kurt. One day, I, I, I mention him now mostly because I'm going down to Iowa and he's from Iowa. So uh, maybe I'll keep my eyes open. I don't know what his routes are all the time or where he is and I mean my videos are delayed as well so by the time this video hits the internet I'll probably be out of there already and back home. Uh, so we'll see. I'll keep my eyes open for uh, for his W9. He drives his W9. He has a much bigger sleeper than me. He has a studio sleeper uh, and his truck is called First Class because it's a W900, it's first class, obviously, and this is Old Blue. So one of these days, we'll get Old Blue in first class, side by side, when the stars align, and it just so happens that we like, hey, hey, look at that, there's Kurt. I'm gonna go over there and say hi to him, we can get a picture of our trucks together. I'd love to meet his dog, too. But uh, I, I, I kinda wish I could still have Diesel with me more often. I miss him. I miss him on the road. He's a little old now though, though he's in great shape. He's turning 12 in a couple of months. 12, can you believe that? 
I've been I started making videos when he was like 10 weeks old. He's 12 or just about. And this truck, uh, oh, it's a mess right now, but I gotta clean it up. It's a, it's small. This is my dream truck. I've always wanted to have a truck like this, and uh, it's a little bit smaller in here, but we could still make it work. But he's developed some anxiety issues. I've, I've gone into this before in my channel. Diesel's developed some anxiety issues, and he, uh, he doesn't do as well in the truck anymore as he used to, which is strange because he grew up in the truck, right? This is all he knew for like 10 years of his life. But this truck is a lot more noisy. It's, uh, I like, <laughs> loud pipes save lives, yes. I like people to know I'm coming. But at the same time, you know, I usually have my windows down. I love hearing the sound of the truck. I love hearing the tires on the highway. I love hearing the Jake brake. And it seems to me, I, I don't know, I don't speak dog, but it seems to me like he just enjoys being at home right now. And I don't really blame him, you know? He spent 10 years on the road with me every single day. And it was just me and him for the longest time. And then I met Britt and we got married and you know she came with her own dog as well and then a couple of dogs. And then we got Chevy as a wedding gift. We took the presentation, uh, the gifts that people brought us for our wedding, uh, and we, we we bought Chevy. I wanted a German Shepherd, she wanted a Golden Retriever. We just so happened to find a breeder near us that bred them together. Not specifically for us, but just so happened that it's, you know, it's just perfect. So we're like, oh, it's a sign from the gods, you know? It's like, we gotta go get one! So we went there and I sat down on the floor and I, I there's all these puppies running everywhere, right? I sat down on the floor and little baby Chevy came running over to me and jumped in my lap and wouldn't leave me alone. He's jumped into my arms and he just didn't, he, he wanted to come with us. So we took him home with us and now he's, he's, uh, oh, I love that dog so much. I love all our dogs. Ah, uh, but they love being at home. And you know, that's, that's, at home, they have each other, they have their brothers, their family, they have a nice big, like, they have a decent sized fence yard to be in. Britt is an amazing mom, not just to our son, Theo, but also to all the dogs. And she makes sure they get uh, sufficient time outside, they get exercised, and she's just amazing. And I, you know, I really can't hold it against him that he wants to spend time with her. He spent 10 years with me, and now he's in his golden years, you know. Who knows how long he has left. I hope he's got like another 10 years, but I don't know. But he wants to spend the rest of his time at home with his mom and with his brothers and just relaxing. And I can't fault him for that. That's where he wants to be, so. I can't be selfish and just hog him to myself and take him with me for my own selfish reasons. Though to be honest, I really want to. It's, it's tough for me not to just, you know, too bad, Diesel, you're coming with me because I need you, man. No. He's happy at home. One day, one day I'll have uh, another trucking dog. I don't want to talk about that because in order for us to go that down that road, I have to say that, you know, we're not getting another dog until uh, the ones we have now pass on. I don't like thinking about that. But one day when the house is emptier and there's less pitter-patter and tippy-tappies of paws tapping around the house, and I'm ready to move on, uh, I'd get another dog for the truck in the future. Give me a bit of a smaller guy, though. I don't even know what kind of dog. I was thinking of getting, like, a schnauzer and calling him Gustav. <laughs> See how I feel when the time comes, right? Not uh, anytime soon. I'm hoping Diesel is gonna live, uh, you know, a long, 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 long time yet. I don't like thinking about life without him. It was hard enough bringing him to the vet just for a dental cleaning. <laughs> uh, life without him, I don't know. And Chevy too, man, I love that dog. Did I say that already? Man, I love those dogs, all of them, I love those dogs. 
And on top of all of that yet, and I know they all understand this, but then I love my son even more yet, and my wife even more. You know, when I started making these vlogs, life was very different. You know, it was just me. Just Diesel, me and Diesel. But I was a single guy. Life was so different before I met Brit, and life has changed so much for the better. Not only have a lot of you joined my, my virtual family here on YouTube, my YouTube family, I've also grown and built a real family with an amazing wife, an amazing son, amazing dogs. Yeah, we got a tiny little house. I'd like to have a bigger house. <clears throat> I wish I could give my family like this big mansion. I'd love that. They deserve it. And one day, maybe we'll get there. We're still working on it, but you gotta be smart, right? You gotta be smart. I have to lead the family in a way that will ensure that we have a good future. So that means we're in our tiny little house right now. We own it. And uh, when the time is right, we'll either sell it or we'll move out and rent it out. I don't know. And we will get into a bigger house. And that is like the final cherry on top of the whipping cream on top of the pie. I'm very happy. And as soon as, uh, you know, we find that right house and the time is right. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm bibble babbling. Thanks for hanging out with me this long, everybody. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me just vent to you. Sometimes I whine and I complain. Thanks for listening to that and not judging me. Sometimes I learn more about myself as I talk to you. And I edit all these too, so I'll be going back there right away and putting this all together and listening to myself talk and going over what I just said and uh, I'll learn more about myself. Sometimes I'll cut some of it out and be like, well, that was useless talking. Other times I'll leave it in because I want that memory to be there because this is the point in life and point in time that I am right now. 20 years from now, who knows where we'll be? but at least I'll have this moment in time captured right here in this video. And I share it with you, but it's also for me. I don't just upload it to YouTube, I also save every single one of my videos onto an external hard drive. So, I mean, if YouTube ever went away, I, I have all of my videos. Those are mine, those are for me. I upload them to, to YouTube for you, but I make them for us in the future. I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. For real this time. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. We're going to end the vlog.